Hello, dear doers. It is so good to see you again for this new video on delivery methods and payment providers. There's a variety of shipping options available for our customers as well as payment options. So let's discover them together and see how we can configure them to fit our needs. So here we are in our database. And the first thing, of course, that we will do in this case is activate a few options from the settings. So we will search for shipping. And in the shipping category, we can find a series of options that we can activate to allow our customers to have different ways of shipping their product. And here I will activate all of them because I want to make them available um, for our customers. I also have the option um, to allow the on-site payment and picking, which I will activate in this case. And this option allows your customer um, to choose a different address for the shipping and for the customer's address. So let's save this and see how it looks. Now that I have saved this, I can search for shipping again. And I have a new option here that allows me to customize my pickup sites, which I can go on right away. There is actually one created by default by Odoo, but I can also create a new one if I want to. Now, if I go to the configuration, I also have now this category that allows me to see all my shipping methods, including the one for the pickup on site. Um, I can play around with those, create a new one from there as well. Um, let's see, for example, the one for BPOST, how it is configured. So I have here a provider um, that is BPOST, obviously. I have a delivery product. I have a, an invoicing policy that can be an estimated cost or a real cost. I can add an integration level to get the rate or get the rate and create the chi shipment. And then I have a bunch of configuration that I need to activate here. I can also set up the destinations to decide whether this is available for all countries or for specific countries, and I can add a description. Now, if I go back here, I can create a new one. I want to name it Green Mobility. And the delivery product in this case will be the same as the name of this new shipping method. And we will say that it's not a fixed price, but it will be based on rules. So now in my pricing tab, I can actually add a new condition um, based here on the weight. So basically, my product needs to be under this um, weight. And then the delivery cost will be three times, uh, sorry, three plus 0.80 and based on the weight. So a miles the weight. I can save this and close it. Then if I save it, I need to publish it, of course, to make it available for my customers. And that's it. And what about payment providers? How can I add them to my shop? Well, that's a very good question, Audrey. So for that, you will have to go back to your configuration in payment providers. And as you can see, you have a bunch of payment providers already available here. Some are already activated, others are not. For this um, demo, we activated this one um, particularly to be able to see how it works. So we have, um, for example, the displayed as that allows me to change the way it is displayed on my website and make it maybe more understandable to my customer. I can also add a maximum amount. I can add uh, a, a series of countries for which this payment provider is available. Remember that some payment providers are available in some countries and some for other countries, so that might be important to activate. You can also allow your customer to save their payment methods from the website by clicking on this button. And then if you go to the fees tab, you can add extra fees. So they will be divided by uh, domestic and international fees, and then you can choose whether you want a fixed amount or a variable one. Then the last thing that you can do is uh, configure your messages. You have all the messages uh, that correspond to this payment provider, for example, the the message for the authorization of the payment, which says your payment has been authorized. So going back to the configuration, we will set up this as a test mode. And of course, before we can save it, we will add a journal here. And now we can just publish it and it will be available on the website. Now let's go back to the website to see how it looks. We can click on this product, add it to the cart, proceed to the checkout, and once I'm here, I can 
check the option that I activated earlier, which allows me to choose a different address for the billing and the shipping. In this case, you are uh, editing the billing and shipping addresses at the same time. So let's add these options here to make sure that I can move to the next step. Happiness Street, one, two, three, and I live in Louvain, La Neuve, in Belgium. And I will just add a zip code here to move on to the next step. Now, as you can see, I have my billing address and my shipping address, and they're both the, thi the same. If I confirm, I go to the next step, and I can now see that I have my three different shipping uh, methods uh, that include also the fact uh, for my customer to be able to pick up the product in the shop. And we also have our different payment providers, uh, including the one that we just activated here. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can always check our online documentation for more information. See you next time.